Lux will give us the strength to win my VGC games. Here's the team that I've got. Now, it revolves around mostly Terra Water, uh, Rotom Fridge form, Rotom Ice. And this is a team featured by Cybertron VGC. Shout out to that dude. It's like my favorite VGC channel. I saw him using this team and said, that shit looks pretty fun. I think the title of his video is, this team's fun. So I was like, I like fun. And I figured I'm going give it to give it a whirl here. With the new ice buff, uh, we get a nice little defense boost there with the Obama Snow. Pair that with the Rotom. Uh, there's also Tailwind, um, freaking fake Zapdos. Choice Band, Guard Chomp. Um, it has good synergy, right? Because I could go literally just Tailwind, Kilowattro, and then Earthquake. Uh, Choice Band, Earthquake on the Chomp. There's Arcanine for good support. And then you can't have a team without Golden Go. Anyway, this guy's got... If he leads Palafin, that would be great. Uh, there is Amoongus, which is annoying. Hmm. There's a lot of shit going on here. Rotom does pretty well. What's also good about leading Kilimacho, if they lead Arcanine, I just get a... Um, I just get a straight-up boost, because this thing is, in fact, competitive, so that's super nice. I think I might go Kilimacho, Rotom. I'm gonna go this thing. And... Arcanine in the back. Let's get it, boys. I have no idea what they're going to want to lead with. I'm thinking Palafin slash Arcanine? Question mark? Let's see. It's that guy. Hello. It is I. I am also that guy. First documented VGC game of the generation. Let's see if I can keep the win streak going. So yeah, Arcanine, Palafin. Look at me, dude. Call me Wolfie, bro. I'd be out here predicting leads. So this actually sets me up pretty nice, because watch this. Arcanine Intimidate drops my attack, and then Kilowattle says, Psych bitch, raise sharply. Let's go. Um, and I'm actually in a pretty good position. I don't even know if I want a Tailwind here, to be honest. I could just straight up T-Bolt the Palafin. Or he's probably going to flip turn into... I might even say a Moongus. I think I'm going to wait to Tailwind. I think I might air slash into the Palafin spot, spot expect, expect a flip turn, then I just straight up Terra, Terra Blast into Arcanine. This Arcanine is going to think he's grabbing himself a free fire move on Rotom Frost, but let's see how this goes. They call me Hayden VGC, I gotta change my username now, damn, didn't even think about that. So yeah, we turned the fridge into water, which is amazing, because Arcanines are running around so much lately that this lead honestly works out perfect, that like with the Kilowattril... I get that boost. So Palafin does flip turn. Perfect. He's going to go into a Moongus, and I'm going to smash that thing with an Air Slash. Watch this play. Watch this play, bro. And then Arcanine's about to get bopped by Rotom. He does go a Moongus. Let's go. <laughs> I am the GOAT. I am literally too nice at VGC, bro. Let's go. A Moongus down, and that pretty much... That sets us up really nice, because now Arcanine Flare Blitz is on top of... Oh, okay. Doesn't even... Interesting. Didn't go on the Ice type on the field, huh? Uh, I guess he saw that competitive boost and said, Damn, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Um, but actually, what is good is... Depending on what else he brought, does this kill? It does not kill. I mean, that's totally fine. I just have to worry about... I'm gonna go Arcanine of my own. I'm thinking they're probably Dragonite back there. I don't think your fridge is good at keeping your ice frozen. It turned to water for real. Uh, oh wait, no, he just goes right back to Palafin. Okay, that's actually bad. Well, at least I get the Intimidate off, which is nice. I might actually now, let's see. Let's see, Arcanine, I think I might switch this thing to Golden. And then their Arcanine is not really that big of a threat. So I just T-Bolt. Mainly concerned about the Palafin. What up, Michelle? I'm gonna switch out his Arcanine, okay. Brings in King Gambit. Interesting, all right, so King Gambit, what, like Sucker Punch? Mainly he's gotta worry about Sucker Punches, I suppose, but it's nice to come, I, I can bring back Arcanine. Oh. Just flip turns on the Arcanine, okay. Well, K 
Canon comes in, just gonna die to a T-Bolt. I should have probably... Realistically, I should have brought Garchomp, so that way I could just then discharge and get damage on everything. What up, Scrag? How's it going? Intimidate is fine. T-Bolt kills the K9. I basically need... So now when Palafin comes in next, I can just Intimidate it. Uh, and, and then it's stuck with that, that drop, so I'm actually in a pretty good position here. I don't know if I want to go directly into Arcanine here. I'm kind of worried about this King Gambit, to be honest. What do I do here? So... I actually just protect Golden Go once, scout what they're going to do. T-Bolt Palafin. Because once, once Palafin's gone, Arcanine kills King Gambit. After an Intimidate, I can take a Sucker Punch. And we are fine. Ooh, Wave Crashes onto Rotom. I am Water-type. This is fine. What up, Anna? How's it going? Scrag? The gang's all here. T-Bolt takes care of it. All right, that's a, that's a dub, bro. That is a tremendous W. <clears throat> Mostly. Um, unfortunately, they did not target the goddamn Golden Go. Why? I guess whatever. BGC content, baby! Alright, so now it's just us against this thing. I come in. How do I choke this? I can't. I don't think I can. Really. Yo, Ringo! Being slacken on attendance bit haze. Sorry that my alerts are loud as shit on my end. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. I appreciate you, buddy. Oh, fuck, I forgot about Defiant. That's how I choke it. It's Defiant King Gambit instead of its other fucking ability that this thing uses. Oh, no. This is bad. And he still has the Terra in the back pocket. Oh, no. I'm actually... I probably could lose this right the fuck now. I'm gonna... Pre Attacked on Arcanine here because if he does Terra, I can at least take a turn. Defiant over Supreme Overlord is wild. Wow, now I'm literally gonna choke this. He does Terra. I probably should have double protected to be honest. So he loses his fire weakness. Oh my god, bro. He didn't attack. Oh wait, just kidding. I get the Shadow Ball off first, but that's not gonna do shit. Nice. He does attack in the protected slot. Okay, this is good. How can I shit out speed this thing, right? This thing is about slow as hell, so I think both make it rain and f Flare Blitz kills this, right? I could extreme speed. There's no way that King, King Gambit outspeeds. This thing is slow as hell. Yeah, this game turns scary quick, but we win. All right. Whew! The Defiant on the King Gambit. Sketch me out. I was like, I was really like banking on that Intimidate that entire time in the late game. When is the end of your Twitch thing? I'm actually not sure. It should be soon. GG's though. GG's. Holy fuck, that was actually... So that first turn, honestly killing that Amoongus with the Air Slash kind of won me the game because um, if that thing was around, that would have been... I mean, I had Arcanine for it, but still. All right, so we got a similar... We got the... Okay, we got another Crow. There's an Eyelip here. They could just literally lead Crow slash... Garchomp and just Earthquake. So I do kind of like the fridge here. I do like... Hmm. The fridge is actually kind of nice here. They have a fridge of their own. Do I want to bring the snow? I do kind of like... I do kind of like this guy here. And then I think I bring this... Slash chomp in the back. Yep, that's what I'm doing. If I get yeah, the Dondozo Tatsugiri, I think that's pretty popular right now. I just also know that it's easily countered. You know, you just bring an unaware mon, or there's a lot of answers to it. My team actually wouldn't do too well against 
Well, the fridge would actually be decent. I don't know. A team of six Dun Dun Sparses. True. All right, we got Murkrow Rotom instead. Interesting. So this fridge is bulky. Should I have a Salt Vest? Plus now I got fifty percent defense. Um, I could even go for Aurora Veil here. I feel like Murkrow's for sure. What is Rotom gonna do here? Is Rotom gonna Terra? Hmm. I think I'm gonna Veil turn one, just because I don't know fucking why not. And then. Or. Protect slash discharge. Just to see what they're gonna do first. Just make sure that Abomasnos stays good for a while. Murkrow Tailwind. I honestly kind of thought he was going to tear here. What, what is this thing going to do? Just Volt switches into my Rotom. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Is he going Chomp now or something? No, he's not going to go Chomp against Frost Rotom. Annihilate. Okay. I think that Ape... Uh, the only Apes I've seen are either Scarfed or... Or they do the nonsense of, uh, well, I mean, it's not Scarf because it's behind Tailwind. My guy, Final game. hope you're doing well. Titan, Please. thank you very much, buddy. Shit, sorry, my fucking thing is Lovely too loud. Guy in chat. Titan, thank you very much for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you, guy. So, I could switch this thing out into this thing? I think I'm going to do that. So then I can Tailwind if it if I'll annihilate fighting moves here. And then... I'm not super worried about Murkrow being around, to be honest. I might just Blizzard. Titan yelling at us. Desktop audio muted again? No, could you guys not hear that at all? I don't know. Okay, so let's hope Annihilate goes for some type of fighting move into Kilowattril and actually just Poison Jabs. Okay, so that's perfect. Murkrow gets paralyzed. Let's go. And now Big Blizzard gonna take out the Murkrow for sure. Did literally zero fucking damage to an Eye Lape. Nice, <laughs> Hey, thank you very much, that one guy. Appreciate you guys for the resubs tonight. Thank you. Okay, so Murkrow, there's two turns left of Tailwind. Gonna have to deal with that. Um, however, Fridge is looking good over here. Goes back, Rotom. Okay. So, I may even protect here. Or do I just air slash into the night leap? Question is, who do I Terra? Do I Terra Guard Chomp after the Banded Chomp? Air slash into Ape. T Bolt into Rotom. Let's see how this goes. I don't know what their Rotom wants to do. I feel like it's going to change types here. But you can never expect. You never know what they're going to fucking do. Okay, Rotom Protect. That's annoying. All right, the U turn. Okay. Shit is getting mixed up out here, boys. Yeah, I'm just trying out BGC. The start of a generation. You know, I'm just dipping the old toes into it. Ooh. Chomp, okay. So Tailwind goes away now, right? Does the Tailwind go away? No, oh, what? One more turn of Tailwind, okay. So, here I protect this thing. And I bring back in Obama Snow. I'm using a rental team, so that's why my team is Japanese. So after this turn of Tailwind, should be in a pretty decent spot. Okay, ooh, and we even get the Earthquake, this is nice. 
Are you paying? <laughs> Luckily not paying, no. You know, that was an interesting play, because I literally had Rotom out here, and I have Levitate also. He was literally not going to touch anybody with that quick, so what the fuck was that Earthquake about? You're doing me a confusion, my guy. Tailwind goes away. Now I could Tailwind myself, and then a Bomb of Snow straight up blizzards the shit out of that chomp. I think. Right? Big Tailwind. The funny thing about Kilowattril is that he's so fast that it's almost like using a Prankster Boy. Still outspeeds with the Iron Head, although I do have the Babiri Berry, and that does nothing as long as I don't flinch here. Nice. Let's go. Jump down. Are you a cat IRL? She's a furry for sure. The Bibiri Berry. I like how I hate how sometimes when they attack, you don't even see the animation. You can share your Prime membership code. I bet my entire life savings on winning this match. <laughs> okay, so back comes Annihilate, although now I'm behind a Tailwind, and I have the Kilowattril up out here, bro, so... He's supposed to steal Terra with Chomp, that's true. Yeah, interesting on why he wouldn't. I think I'd probably just save Terra for Chomp, to be honest. Air Slash. I might even Aurora Veil just to ensure that Chomp can, yeah. Oh wait, no, the hail's not up. Just kidding. That's not good then. Did I still just click Blizzard? Fuck, I hate it. You have to, oh no. Actually, that's fine. But I'm not, not attacking here is more beneficial than if I were to attack. So Air Slash does happen on Annihilate. Why is this thing so bulky? What the hell kind of Annihilate is this? How much bulk does that thing have? I do hit the Blizzard on the Annihilate, but it does literally 5%. And now Rage Fist is about to body me. Because I've hit that thing six damn times. You max HP special defense or what, my guy? Yeah, I probably saw this, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I think I still go Rotom now. Hmm. With the Tailwind up, I still have speed. D White, how you doing, my friend? I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you, folks. A little more intense now than I'm playing VGC. Okay, air Slash again on Annihilate. Once Ape's gone, I'm good. I don't need to Terrastalize here. So I think I just T-Bolt into an Annihilate slot also. I'll go after Kilowattril, right? Please just kill it. Thank you. Okay, Ape goes down. Kilowattril just out here making a name for himself. Massive legend. Then we get the T-Bolt off on the Rotom. Nice little neutral hit. Bring it down to half. Okay, we should be... What up, Mav? How's it going, buddy? I should have still one more turn of Tailwind. I haven't been checking. Yeah, this is a rental team I'm using. Uh, if you guys are familiar with... Oh, what is it? What the hell items this thing have? Just leftovers. If you guys are familiar with Cybertron VGC, he featured this team a few days ago. Maybe it was even yesterday. Um, this is a Japanese player's rental team. I actually don't remember. But it is, so... Shout out to the dude who did this. Do I have Tailwind? I have one more turn of Tailwind. Let's freaking go. Dragon Claw, the Rotom. T-Bolt, the Rotom. Protect! Oh no! Stalls out a turn of the Tailwind. But now who does he attack here though is the question. Hmm. So he gets another turn of Leftovers. Who should I Terra? Should I go Water Rotom or just Dragon Garchomp? Probably just Dragon Garchomp. We'll have to Hydro Pump me. Boost the damage on the, the Claw. Double Dat Stab plus Choice Band. I think this will kill if I get it off. Final Clean, so let's put up decorations before Miss Mav comes. Let's go. 
Oh, it's ground chomp, not dragon. Oh, for some reason I thought I looked and saw it was ground. Or thought it, thought it was, yeah, it's, he puts on his ground helmet. Okay. Uh, fuck me. I was. Oh no. What are the odds I lose against this washing machine here? Electric. Okay. Whatever. Banded Claw still kills it. <clears throat> we good. Still outspeed. More of a utility Rotom Wash. Man, you, still just, you just can never avoid the Rotom Wash. Doesn't matter if you're playing singles or doubles or what the hell you're doing. They're just all over the place. Alright, not too bad though. GG easy, boys. Here we go. We got another Murkrow. This team is scary as hell. Look at these threats. Good lord. However, I do really like how Rotom looks here. Water Terror Rotom does great against, like, anything except for Breloom. So, I think I probably just go... I definitely probably want to bring Arcanine here. I think I go Watchroll Rotom. And then... Arcanine... He has an Obama Snow, I think. Imagine having this much knowledge about Pokemon but not knowing how to fix a car. <laughs> I love the flames on this scene. It's so funny. Michelle's got a point there. All right, my dude's got the the bright red hair. Let's go, double dragons, huh? So that's what we're doing. We're doubling on the dragons, are we? Okay. So, I think I Tailwind plus. Boy, would a Blizzard be nice. I think I do probably still Terra Water to resist Rock from the Chomp. If Kilowattro gets knocked into Sash, that's fine. Mm, fuck, I need to get in. I needed to get in snow, but ah, uh, fuck! I did not expect this lead. Just going double pseudos on my ass. Okay. Let's see how this goes. So we'll we'll ta we'll tailwind. So Rotom will be faster. Now it just comes down to if I can hit a blizzard. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and flip basically two coins here to see if I hit hit a blizzard. If I could hit it on both, that would be amazing. Kilowatcher being sash makes me feel safe. There's the blizzard. Avoided. Okay, we hit the Garchomp and kill it, so that's fine. I will take that all day, babe. I was mainly worried about that thing's rock slide anyway. I'll see what Hydro does. Goes for Snarl. Okay, that's annoying. It'd actually be super chill if you didn't do that, although I get the competitive on this thing at least, so that's nice. Special attack drop on the Rotom sucks. But with Chomp being down, I'm actually in pretty good position. Not gonna lie. Let's see. What are you going for? Braylon, okay. So this is fine. I have to worry about Mach Punch. However, it doesn't kill Kilowattrel here. So I just go right for Air Slash into that slot. And I think I might even switch this guy out. I'm worried about Spore, but I think I go Arcanine here. Can't really Spore anything. Air Slash with the boost is going to kill Braylon, so. Dun, dun, dun. It seems more of a support Hydreigon? I don't know. Is this thing going to try to Mach Punch? Okay, switches that, that thing out. That's actually fine. Reveal their last Mon, which is a Canine of their own. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. More competitive for Kilowattrel. Let's go. This thing is a beast right now. That air slash kill. Oh no, the sash. Damn it, of course. Well, okay. It actually just bullet seeds into Arcanine slot. That's perf perfect. Arcanine, Arcanine. However you want me to say it, okay? Listen. What the fuck? Stop it with the bullet seeds. My guy, it must, uh, no, I'm just kidding. You're hitting four times. So. I'm gonna protect here. Slash. 
Snarl. I protect because I'm expecting extreme speed into my Kilomotril. Snarl will then kill the Breloom. Let's see. Soundbite of Hayden saying it'd actually be super chill if you didn't do that. <laughs> I am a VGC god. Look at I'm actually not bad. I'm like making some some calls here. Mock punch into canine, that's fine. There's nothing. And I eat my citrus berry. I hate how you can't see all the Pokemon on the field at one time. Like what is this camera angle? What the fuck is this camera angle, for real? Okay, so I mostly just needed to get the pick on the Breloom. And alright. We're in pretty good shape here, boys. Been zoning sword. I have, yeah, I like it a lot better than Sword and Shield. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so expecting extreme speed once again from the Arcanine. Um. Which sucks. But I should be. Let's see. I think I'm going to T-bolt that thing. Do I want to protect this thing? No, you can't press the stick. Oh, uh, fuck. What do I do? Protect? Protecting Arcanine here. I don't think it was a good play. Oh, we live in with eight. Let's go. Now we get a big T bolt because I've had so many boosts that just kills Arcanine. Kilowattril is the greatest Pokemon alive. This thing has actually been so clutch. Um, so he dies to this Snarl, which is fine. Did what I need to do because now it's just us against the High Dragon. So this is perfect. Tailwind goes away. I just have a Bomb of Snow exactly for this. Clutch. So now I just, uh. Blizzard. He hasn't Terrid yet. He hasn't Terrid yet. And for that reason, eh, whatever. I just click Blizzard anyway. Yeah, he just runs. GG's, my guy. GG's. Love to see it. What do we have here? That team is all over the damn place. I like Rotom. I like Rotom a lot. I think Rotom's great here. I might even just go same lead. Do I want to go Obama Snow lead actually with, with Rotom? The question is, do I need the Tailwind? I don't think I do. I think I go Watchroll in, in case of Arcanine lead, plus the Fridge. And then... We've got like Hariyama. Hmm. I don't think I even need a Bomb of Snow here. I think I might just go, just go Bandit Chomp, Loki. Let's see. Do I like the Chomp and Arcanine, or do I want Golden Go? Do you like Golden Go for a few things? I'm gonna go that and yeah, I like the support of Arcanine. Okay, let's go. Haruyama and Dragapult. So we can expect Fake Out, likely from Haruyama. Might even do it into the Rotom actually. I think I Tailwind here anyway. No, here's what I do. I Protect. And then I bring in Arcanine. I got you, Baghead, I got you. So I bring in Arcanine to intimidate the Hariyama, plus I then have Snarl support against the Dragapult. And I protect on Kilowattril because I'm worried about maintaining the Sash. I don't want her to get the free fake out for no reason. Dragapult clear body. Hmm. 
Okay, so Hariyama does fake out on my Protect. Not even bad. Ooh, the Dragapult Dragon Dances. This thing is physical. <laughs> oh no. That is not good. Hmm. Damn. I don't know what to do now. I didn't expect that thing to dragon dance. No siree. Fuck. I should have snarled. There's phantom forces here. Ah, shit. Okay, the Snarl does nothing here. It's provided me nothing. But I do get the Tailwind up. Because now if I bring back in the, the Rotom, I outspeed the Dragapult Ice Punch from that thing. God damn it. I think he likely double... I think he still attacks Kilowattril here. I protect. What up, Pedro? I protect, and then I go back into the fridge. And this, this could be... This could fuck me over here. Because... Yeah, we'll see. <clears throat> I just did not expect the dragon dance from the Dragapult. Is that a th is that a VGC thing or is this dude just running some crazy shit? Let's see what happens here. No, he Phantom forces the wrong slot. You son of bitch. Okay, so that didn't work out. But I'm still behind a Tailwind on Rotom here, and. Okay, I have to assess this to that. I might air slash on that thing and then... Fuck, I like need to hit Blizzard. I don't think I even Terra, to be honest. Do I actually do? No, I'm just kidding. This is not good. Big damage, though. Oh, it still outspeeds with the Dragon Dance. Okay. And now I die to an Ice Punch. So that's GG on this one, boys. Oh, I just died to the Dragon Darts. Dude, the Dragapult o is OP. What in the fuck? I literally lost that turn one when he clicked Dragon Dance. Plus, it's clear body, so you can't even intimidate it. Good lord. Phantom Force used to be called Shadow Force, the separate moves. Uh, separate moves, right? Okay, well, yeah, at this point I've done half damage to one Pokemon and I'm down two. That's a job. Still got one turn of Tailwind. If that Dragapult has Protect, it uses it here. Um, I'm Flying Terra. The Golden Ghost. I probably have to tear that thing. I almost been intimidated twice, so he switches that thing out. What the hell else do you have? Or can I never say own, which is not good for the Golden. But it's flying, I'll be alright. Doubters might be getting a big paycheck, for real. I feel like that's how VGC goes. You can tell if you're down bad, like, pretty early. And it turns out, I'm not I'm not up good. But I do got some balloons, though, so the party's just now starting. God damn it. This thing is too fast. Nice. So I just completely lose now. Okay. This is why we don't gamble, kids. <laughs> Even behind the tailwind, Golden Go. Is this thing slow as shit? What is up with this go? I think it's pretty slow. 110, but I have plus one drag pult. Man. Mm -mm -mm. I 
think I still shot a ball there. Whatever. Going broke today. Feels bad. <laughs> he probably forces onto the... Yeah, onto that fella right there. And Flare Blitz is onto it as well. So, got... I literally did not click a single right move that entire match. Been running Bulky Amoongus with Rage Powder. It's been really nice for redirection. True. Okay, I, I seriously don't think that I did one thing. I, every move I clicked might have been the worst possible move for me to do there. You hate to see it. Like, truly, I could not have played that worse. I didn't hit one, not one time did I click a single thing that benefited me in the slightest. It's annoying when you click run and they, like, think about their move forever. It's like, sir, you are up three to one. I have nothing that can touch any of your mods. Just just, just click something so I can run. All right, let me get a match where I could go Obama Snow Rotom, please. We're going snowy. Feeling snowy today. Ooh. Okay, I could potentially be feeling snowy, not going to lie. I have not played against a giraffe, a farig farigiraffe. Um, hmm. Barrack Obama Snow? Garganical is scary mm -hmm. and annoying. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to go with the snow in fridge and then Watril Chomp. Wait, do I want Chomp? I'm afraid of that fucking Garganical being like Terra Flying or something. Uh, hmm. Do I even want Kilowattril here? It's basically just for Tailwind support. I don't think I want it here. I think I want this. And... This. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's... I don't do a good job of choosing what I need to bring here. But I think we can do a little bit of damage here with... My lead, depending on what they go for. I'm expecting maybe the Tenta Screw. Oh, he's got the... He's got those shiny... Uh, shiny Ducky. Toad Squirrel, down, whatever the hell it's called for it. Okay, never mind. I was way off. So... What the hell does Farigraph do, is the question. I do have Earth Power coverage on King Gamma. This is a move that this thing actually just recently learned. Um in this gen, I think. I have no idea what anything's gonna do here. I think I'm gonna earth power that. And then I'm gonna Terra water, but then. Just blizzard for some spread on both? Bug it. It's not gonna do much to that thing, but let's see. Psycup with Sloking on his Bathros, who thinks it's safe to set up. That's a good one. Or the Mirror Herb is an item I really want to get, get to using. Matriox. Alright, let's see here. So we're going water on this thing. This actually doesn't really help much, other than if there's like a fighting move coming from the... The dude? So this is a chunk to the, the giraffe. We get the Earth Power off on that boy. Nice chunk on that thing. Earth Power now takes care of it. Iron Head with the Berry. Let's go. Good to know. So we outsped... Oh, and it's Life Orb, too. Trick Room, of course it is. Of course, Trick Room makes total sense. I think I now Protect. And then just T-Bolt into King Gambit. I don't know. Let's go see what happens here. We'll see what the Giraffe wants to do now that it's quick with this cool little hoodie. Love to see people using the Giraffe, though, Loki. I'm hoping he wants to take out a Bomb of Snow here. I don't know. This, uh, King Gambit under Trick Room is very scary. I did not even think about Trick Room. No. We're supposed to attack this Obama Snow. That actually just knocked me to 1 HP. I literally just lived that with 1 HP. That's actually insane. Okay, Gambit goes down, so that thing's scary and gone. But now there's a light screen up. And I am in danger. 
Yeah, man, look into Mirror Herb. What I want to use Mirror Herb with is Grafai Eye with Unburden. Use Swagger on the opponent. Mirror Herb the attack boost. Activate my Unburden in the process. Okay, so it is Garganical. And... That's kind of scary. Garganical under Trick Room. I am in serious danger. Here's what I do. I just try to Aurora Veil if possible. I then switch this thing out... Into Arcanine. Intimidate, but I feel like this Garganical is about to tear into something. Let's do more predictions after if we still got. <laughs> Thank you, Sinel. Okay, let's see what happens here. Is this for draft just gonna dual screen? Like, what is this? Okay, yeah, just body presses, but we live. Oh, and then Hyper Voice knocks me out. Damn it. That's unfortunate. How much is left on the Trick Room? I am afraid of this team, bro. Three? Oh wait, that was light screen. Just gonna <laughs> pause. Two. Okay. So let's see. Realistically, what can we do here? I think I have to. Wait, do I have protect on this Arcanine? I think I, yeah, I go for protect slash earthquake. Frigraph's gonna have Dazzling Gleam or something for Garchomp, though. Fuck. I am in danger. Still no Terra. Very hell, just Iron Defenses. This thing is a threat. It can literally just Iron Defense and then Salt Cure to just fuck everything over. Okay, nice. But now, I've choice banded myself into Earthquake with my Arcanine on the field, and that's not good. I was going to say, did I do nothing to the Garganical? I did a bit. I did a chunk. I did a clean 35. The only way I have to beat this is with my Rotom, and I only have... Yeah, I need, I need Rotom out, essentially. Here comes Toad Squirrel. The shiny Toad Squirrel, I actually haven't seen that thing yet. That's kind of cool. Fuck. Oh wait, yeah, okay, so I put myself in a position here, and it's not a good one, but what I need to do, I have to Earthquake, the only, I, I can't do anything else. I can't switch into Rotom, I literally have to click Earthquake. I can either try for a double protect, or I can Flare Blitz. I'll go, I'll go after Trump or before. Whatever, I don't know how this is going to work out. The speed tiers are confusing as shit. I don't know. Help. Body press, I live. Is the Toad Scroll Spore here? He probably just spores, huh? Maybe spores chomp. Oh, I do go first and get the Flare Blitz off. Let's go. Okay, we can win this. This is winnable. Easy. All I have to do, tail or, uh... Trick Room goes away after this turn. And then my 1 HP Rotom... Uh, literally beats the Garganical with a Terra Blast, potentially. I also get an Earthquake off here. Damage. Snow goes away, but that's fine. Okay, so this actually worked out. Dimensions are back to normal. Dude, the fact <laughs> that the fridge lived on 1 HP, hello? This is crazy. BGC is too much, bro. It's too much. Blast. Just finish it off with the chomp. Didn't even need to use the fridge. It didn't matter. I was able to clutch that uh, with the guard chomp, being able to take that body press. That was an interesting game. I liked that guy's team a lot. I liked. I liked that a lot. All right, <clears throat> what do we got here? Similar, where we see. Ape and Ferrigraph. I am afraid of Torkoal. Because it could be some wild shit. Do I want the Rotom here? I, I, want, I like the Rotom. I always like the Rotom. But 
He also has nothing that can block an Earthquake from a Chomp. And he also has no Ice Mon. So I'm honestly thinking I go Kilowattle Chomp. But if it's Scarf Ape with the final gamut thing that those assholes do, that's annoying. And also, yep, you know what? If it's Sylveon lead, then I Terra Garchomp. And then do I bring the, the, the Ice Boys in the back? I don't think it's worth it with Hariyama laying around. Almost like the Intimidate support of this thing. Plus Golden Guffer, Sylveon if it comes in later. I don't know, man. Listen, I don't know. This guy's name is also Aoi, so I don't know if he knows either. But I get the I get Grafai and Frigraph confused all the time. Russ, you should shiny hunt Grafai. I think it's. Actually, I don't even know what the shiny looks like, but it's a cool mod. Anyway, what do we got here for lead? We got Giraffe and Mouse. These guys look like they could be buddies in a children's book, and you love to see it. So, is this a Tailwind team, or is this is this is this Trick Room? You think it's Trick Room because of the 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 Torkoal, but honestly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna T-bolt Giraffe. And earthquake because that should knock out giraffe and I just want to I don't want to tailwind too early so we get a nice chunk there kind of expect oh Jesus oh the population bomb the rough skin <laughs> let's go <laughs> oh my god what happens when you feed a mouse a cookie he gets fucking rough skinned from Garchomp on the first population bomb. That was hilarious. Okay, so it is Trick Rooms. I'm glad I didn't uh, <laughs> Tailwind. Oh my god, that was awesome. Yeah, those HP bars just going down all at the same time. What, that hurts my eyes. Alright, so now this Trick Room Torkoal. Uh, which is scary but fine because I pretty much just T-Bolt guarantee an attack off on the Torkoal. What is my answer to Torkoal? I even protect here. No, T bolt and IQ. I think. Torkoal's gonna hurt a lot here. Ah, and it's Terra. God damn it. Is it gonna be flying? It's gonna be fire, right? Let's go. Everybody runs just Terra fire Torkoal just for an extra stab. But I feel like... Oh, no, and the helping hand, too. Is this going to be a heat wave? No disruption, obviously. Oh, my lord. Okay, the Terrifier helping hand eruption at full power is scary. That could be Specs also, too. I'm not going to lie. The Specs Torkoal is something that I think people are doing. Well, at least I'm Focus Sash and I get the T-Bolt off. Now, what that does do is now Eruption, you know, isn't great. So, hmm. Still in a bad spot here. Specs 2 times Stab, Helping Hand, Full Health Eruption. That's like the most damage output possible. I think I might Protect here. And then terastalize normal to extreme speed into Torkoal? Or maybe I protect both just to see what they're gonna do. No. I need a turn here to go for something. I almost need to snarl. Being able to get the T-Bolt off allows me a chance in this match. Oh, you can't E-Speed next to the draft anyway because of its ability, right? Unless it's like fucking Kudju or whatever the hell it is. Uh, we just snarl. Yeah, Giraffe blocks priority, huh? Does helping hand. He just eruptions again, so. Not as much power on this one, but let's see how much it. How much it's gonna do here. He wanted a. Damn, that still hurt. That has to be a Specs Torkoal right there. There's no shot that's not a Specs Torkoal. So now you don't get the luxury of the helping hand. 
And that torque hole is the scariest turtle I've ever seen. Wouldn't want to ra race this guy in a foot race or stand next to him with those fucking candles on his head. He's erupting your ass. Okay, and so it is that thing. So. Two turns left and trick room and sun and three and sun. Um, pretty much have to attack here. But it's honestly, yeah, I'm going to T-bolt into this. And then, where did the mine's golden go? I think I Terra Extreme Speed Torkoal. That should kill, right? Dun, dun, rid of Brilliant Diamond to get this game. Absolutely, Agent. Let's see, I maybe should have saved my Terra for Golden Go, but I still win the 1v1 against Sylveon anyway with it. So I think it's best for me to just try the normal stab extreme speed here. Does this kill Torkoal? I know that boy thick, but... Oh my god, it lives with... you got to be kidding me. Well, this is like the weakest eruption of all time. However, I just have one HP on the birds. <laughs> That, of course, kills it. Unfortunate. It probably would have been worth it for me to just try the double protect. So will be on that hyper voice and kills me. Damn, bro. I fucked up. But wait. But wait. There's a win condition. There's a win con for sure. Because there's one turn left in Trick Room. Right? <coughs> One turn left, Trick Room, I protect. And then I make it rain. Because then I'll outspeed both. I don't think it kills the Sylveon, though, but it probably can't kill me in return? Question mark? Wow, if that extreme speed killed that Torkoal, it'd be a whole different day. I've heard that Shiny Golden Go looks exactly the same. Okay, we did dimensions back to normal, just how I like it. And now we make it rain. I make it rain on these hoes. Let's go! Alright, that was a hype match. The protect to stall out the, t the trick room. Damn. Alright, boys. Well, that's what we like to call in the business. A GG. Rose gold, shiny golden go would have been lit. I also don't like how it turns friggin' nighttime when there's a guy terrestrialized on the field. I like it when it's bright out. I also would like it if this damn battlefield was cool looking, but... It wasn't, so... I think I might call it on that one. That was a satisfying one to end on. I have, uh... Gotten myself into VGC, huh, boys? It's actually really fun. What do you guys think? Thank you all very much for watching. Those of you on the YouTubes, go ahead and follow me on Twitch and watch some stuff live. And I'll see you next time.